Today we're going to talk about something you rarely hear about in the health food industry and that is the negatives that come with organic living. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another kind of uh, vlog about, uh, I'm not sure what day this is publishing, but I think it's a, a low, it falls into the low carb keto carnivore. But um, this is a subject that is rarely spoken about in the whole health food industry. The same way you'll never hear anybody talk negative about a charity. It's this um, organic uh, industry which, is, which appears to be kind of like semi-bulletproof from uh, criticism. They're saying, well, anything other than organic is bad for you. Um, and we're here today to talk about that is not the case. Um, this is called organic paranoia, and I've witnessed this firsthand, firsthand, um, how over the years, you know, organic was good, oh, organic, 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 it, there's, it's printed on the box, organic this, organic that, sustainable, free range, all these buzzwords, and I've talked about buzzwords in the past, but these buzzwords aren't your passport to like, eternal life or perfect health with no disease or sickness. Um, it, it's just a bizarre thing that we, we, we witness. And, and I've seen firsthand how some people actually really now all of a sudden believe that if it's not organic, it will literally kill you on the spot and give you like cancer and, and all sorts of debilitating diseases. Um, and pain and suffering. I, I really don't understand how this happened. And, you know, on, as a counterpoint, I do think that, you know, companies and large conglomerates have pushed their luck in terms of what they can, what bad things they can squeeze into the foods. But I don't think like things like fruits and vegetables, um, I don't think all these pesticides and all these things they put on, on, the, on the vegetables are really um, hurting anybody. You wash your vegetables and you cook your meat and everything should be fine. Um, but it's this mindset that, that more and more people are getting. They're like, they, they become not obsessed, but unable to eat anything other than these healthy buzzwords. Like it's like some sort of insurance policy. Oh, this is organic meat. Um, it surely won't be bad. But then again, you look at the, you know, look at that guy. I forget where he was from, but he would, for 10 years, he was selling things, meat, to uh, whatever producers or the government, I don't know what it was, that he claimed was organic, but he was fraudulently tricking the system. And it was in fact, worse than the regular meat. He, he was figuring out a way to make more money because, you know, greed, greed is the uh, ultimate evil. But, and he ended up getting convicted, getting a 10 year jail sentence and he killed himself. I guess all that cheating and, and uh, tricking people and the guy like, now that means that all these organic meats that people have been eating for the last 10 years, depending on where you bought it and whether it was the same from this guy. And I'm sure it happens everywhere else. It's probably not organic. So, I mean, shoot, did it kill you on the spot? No, did it, ah, see, this, this really bugs me. And then there's things such as the statistical odds of sickness, death, injury, accidents, and so on. And, and most people don't really think about this. Oh my God, it's a non-organic blueberry. I cannot have it. Oh God, 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 God. Yet they'll, the next minute they'll hop in the car and drive on the highway where if you look at the you know annualized statistics it's the risk you take by driving or even just walking out of your own house is worse than eating a non-organic food product so th this is really i don't understand how people get like this to the point where they don't see you know the apples and oranges like oh i can't eat this bad thing it's going to kill me and they get uptight about it i mean they go nuts and they they create mayhem around them they bring down everybody in in their house they 
create trouble and yet without thinking they're going to put themselves in a, a hundred times more statistically likely danger by driving or walking or going to the city or just going out in the sun. So I, I think something's happened. I, I don't, it's peculiar to me that people can't look at the hypocrisy in how they live life and, and they'll just take some things for granted and then cherry pick some things to get really upset about and obsessed. So I really think, I mean, we're, we're, we like organic sometimes, but, and sometimes it tastes better, sometimes it doesn't. I buy my meat and I only eat really meat. I, I'm good with almost any meat. It never makes me sick, I never feel bad. I mean, there's some flavors I like better, which is su such as Pat La Frida ground beef, and that's not organic, and it's fine for me. Um, I get these organic ground beef packs, and they're, they're, they're no different, no better. I, I, I really don't know what's going on. Unless I was the, there watching them raise the cows, feed the cows, where they get their produce from, you can never really believe these words. These, how many letters is organic? Seven letters. Seven letters on a package, and you're going to believe it, you know, full tilt. I, I, I just, uh, I think your mouth and body can, can tell you a lot more than some words on a box or a package. So that's it. Enjoy the rest of your day.